Well, I'm Dan Varco with Newberry Habitat for Humanity. I work with the volunteers, and sitting with me today is Rolando, who manages the Restore here in La Pine. We are proud of what Rolando does for the community through Restore and through the Habitat. He also is a homeowner, uh, and he's benefited from uh, the organization. He lives in a home now, a Habitat home. And uh, Rolando, uh, tell us a little bit about what it's like to be a Restore manager. Well, thank you for having me, Dan. Uh, being a Restore manager um, has been a very exciting career for me. Um, working with volunteers from our community, the donations that come in our store, uh, it's been very, very gratifying yeah. uh, in knowing that uh, it helps us build homes here in our community. Yeah, I think that's the thing that we all look at is we're helping somebody get their life more stable, we're helping them get their feet on the ground, uh, help them actually experience that American dream that so many of us want to have. Uh, when you are working, managing the ReStore, I mean, there's lots of little pieces, lots of things that go on here. Uh, what, tell us a little bit about what, what that is. I mean, uh, what's, what's the process? What do you, uh, what do you strive for? Um, just tell us a little bit about that. Well, all the donations that come to the store, which we are in right now, uh, are all donated from our community. Um, without uh, volunteers, there'd be no way to process those That's right. those donations. So the, the volunteers are very important in helping us get this store uh, in, a, in a manner where the customers are being able to come in here and 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 buy, shop. Uh, the and, and how the volunteers do that is they help us process, clean, price, mm -hmm. customer service, help load, and with that with having the volunteers in our store helping us with those uh, daily functions makes the store a lot easier to run yeah. um, and giving back to the customer. Yeah. Do you have a uh, anything in place to help train those people, the, the volunteers that come in, you know, to, to help out? Do you have to have skills coming in, I guess I'd ask? You do have to have some. You don't, well, you don't have to have any skills to come into the store <laughs> and, 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 and help out and volunteer because yeah. we will train you here and helping uh, get to where you need to be so you can uh, flow with the restore. Yeah. Uh, but there is different aspects to the store. We have a back room. Mm -hmm. We have a receiving uh, donations receiving room. Uh, we have our floor clerk. We have cash our cashier's mm -hmm. position, uh, and as well as a driver driver and an assistant driving position. Um, having all those positions filled with volunteers really keeps our overhead low. Yes. So we're being able to give back more money to Habitat for Humanity. To build the homes. To build the homes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So the more volunteers that we have in our store to help us run the restore uh, makes it more profitable for our affiliate to build homes. Sure. What I've noticed is there's a lot of folks who enjoy giving goods to contribute to the whole process. I don't know how many times I've been in the store and people are driving up to the front door and they're offering, you know, actually furniture like what we're sitting on right now. And it's, that's, that's kind of a neat thing that they, they get to be a part of the overall product of getting a home for somebody just by giving up something they no longer have a need for. That's right. But what I've noticed is when your group, your volunteers, get finished with that product, it looks really good. By the time you bring it out on the floor, it's, it looks great. Right. And so I think it seems to me you take really good care of it. And then, of course, the people that come in and browse around, I enjoy watching people. They'll go around and around and see what's new. Yes. In fact, I've noticed that a lot of people, they, they stop in every week just to see what's new here That's because right. there's not always the same thing, is That's it? That's right. Our store runs pretty fast. Yeah. And uh, there's several ways you can donate to our store. One, you can just drive up to our store and donate. Okay. And we will unload for you. Two, you can call the Restore, and uh, then we can make some arrangements to go out to your, to your home and pick up the donations to bring back to our to our restore. Uh, and the other way is uh, you can even call our head office. Okay. And uh, you can also leave a message there and they always get back to us. So yeah. there's three ways that you can donate to the mm -hmm. restore. Make it real easy for, uh, for our donors to get the items here to yeah. the restore. Very good. Well, thank you.